make it a mob farm. Two test tubes on a rack. Check this out. Inside each test tube, there's three levels. We got six spawning zones for mobs to spawn in here. Once I turn off these redstone lamps that are going to be controlled by one switch down. Mobs will spawn in here. We're going to put vector plates here. Boom, push them out to the front. To be like, oh, look, my buddy. Ah. But I didn't die because I have sails here and they stop fall damage. In order to make the vector plates, we need ink sacks. A lot of them because we need a lot of black dye. So you take sea water, you put regular water in a barrel on top of sand. It turns into sea water. Take the sea water, throw it down in the earth. Gunpowder, uncompressed coal, carbon deposit. Turns that into ink sacks. Have you seen my farm? We're also going to need slime. Oak barrel, witch water. Showed you that last episode. Pop these bone meal in there. Boom. It's making slime. Shooting the slime inside. Goes over here behind Mario. Making some. We're good. Tons of sleep. But he's even applied yet. Take the ink sacks with some stone. Turn the ink sacks into black dye. You can make black plates. Grab some slime. Sugar. We can make vector plates. How's Mario today? So the way that these work is whatever direction the arrow is pointing, boom, it pushes the entity. This doesn't stop enemies from spawning on here or anything from spawning in this area. As long as the light level is right, stop anything. If you hold down shift, you're not affected by the vector plate. All right, they're all in. They're all facing towards the doorway there. So now when something spawns in here, it's going to get pushed. Boom. Fall down to the death pit. All vectored. All right, so if this is going to work, this switch controls those redstone lamps. Let's turn it off, see if we get anything. We got to leave. So I believe you have to be 27 blocks away. It works. Check this out. Pretty like a wolf. I think it told me I should eat. We just got to build a little drop shoot and a killing chamber right here. And then we'll work on a loot collection system. We build this up, show you how we're going to kill them. Coolest thing ever. That, folks, is going to be our mob farm. All right, we need nine swords. Eighteen of these guys. Blank plates. We can make damage traps. All right, if we get rid of our little fall protection system here. We're going to put hoppers going into this chest. We're going to take these player damage traps, put them right top of here. These aren't player damage traps. These are called damage traps. Need two more. I'm a bot. 
All right, we'll add these last two in here. Boom. Let's close this off for now. I think I can still access that. I can. Let's fire this thing up, see what happens. It's raining, man. Hopefully they drop stuff. <laughs> now we got to work on getting that out of there and into a drawer system that we connect to our refined storage once Mario's done. Or when he's done. So you come out here, huh? <laughs> As far as item collection goes, this one's going to be pretty simple. We're only getting five items from this mob farm. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a drawer controller here and then logistical transporter pipes from the drawer that's collecting it to the drawer controller. We're going to take some drawers, put a drawer key in our offhand, pop these down like so. Key. And now the last thing that we have to do is tell this what it's gonna pick up. And just so we can double check if it's working, I'll take one of each item. Put arrows here, bones here, gunpowder, rotten flesh, string. That should be empty and it is. Now when we turn our mob farm back on, get mob drops for days. Apparently you never drop anything because you never die. We have a resident witch. All right, we need to upgrade the drawers. We're gonna put void upgrades on each one and then storage upgrades of emerald. It increases it by 32 times its value. So we'll put like three of these in each one. And now we're chilling. Except for the witch. Got to figure that part out, I guess. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be the end of the episode, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun and peace.